So in an attempt to uh, get components to build a, uh, a belt grinder, belt sander, uh, I uh, got this uh, treadmill motor and of course it's a uh, DC power so you have to convert it somehow to uh, to run on DC from the AC uh, outlets in your in the shop and uh, <clears throat> there's several YouTube videos uh, fellas showing how to do this and um, this here is the first one I built I just bought the little controller off of Amazon with the uh, uh, the diode and put a switch in it and uh, it works well just uh, like it is uh, on this particular one the um, the dial you have to turn it about halfway uh, before the motor starts but from there on to full power you have a full range of speeds uh, one of the gentlemen on YouTube recommended changing the uh, potentiometer which I did on this one and this one I used a uh, box from a computer um, uh, power source uh, gutted it and put just this uh, thing in there with the uh, the rectifier uh, all fastened nicely in there and I changed the uh, potentiometer to uh, one that was recommended and uh, to tell you the truth I don't find that it makes a great deal of difference uh, you still got uh, quite a bit of a turn on the dial before it starts and uh, you still got a full range of speed so I'm not sure if that was really worth it so on here I used the switch uh, that was on the computer power source and uh, yeah, you see it's still about a half a turn before it uh, before it starts uh, running on low speed and then you've uh, you've got a full range of speeds and of course it takes a while for these motors to slow down due to that heavy flywheel now I've got a lathe downstairs that uh, that I put a treadmill motor on and at that time I didn't know about uh, this type of uh, a power source for them so I used all the the controls off of the treadmill and uh, it's an awful looking thing it works mm -hmm. fine except that when you uh, when you shut it off you've got to restart it and reset your speed again uh, with this one here if you shut the switch off then uh, you're going to be able to uh, start it up again at exactly the, sa the same speed so uh, I'm not going to go into all the description of the uh, the uh, stuff you need to get from Amazon um, it's probably a good idea if you're interested in building something like this to watch some of the other uh, uh, fellows on YouTube that uh, describe in detail how to do it anyway it works well uh, I thank them for their information and I hope this uh, will encourage someone else to uh, give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.